Welcome to Unit 1. This unit is all about congruence and is not your typical unit length. Most uh, teachers, I think, are used to like a three-week teaching segment for a chapter in a textbook. Uh, what you're looking at here in Unit 1, you're looking at, I'm guessing, nine to ten weeks. Um, a huge amount of time and a huge amount of material. So let me just walk you through what's in here and uh, the order that I teach them in. There's more about order and pacing and things that are provided, but I just want to give you a little idea. First of all, over here you can see uh, I had to sneak in GCO 12 uh, and GCO 13 into here. Um, they are the ones that deal with constructions. The very get-go of the year is constructions. The reason I like to start with constructions is it feels like geometry right away and lots of ways to introduce new terms and definitions and uh, uh, the notation of those. So the very first thing is, is the constructions, uh, basic constructions and inscribed constructions. Uh, the objective A1 is about defining things as the year progresses. It's not really its own objective other than it's saying to you, define everything precisely as you move through the year. So then we move fairly smoothly from there. We do basics of coordinate rules and ge the geometry coordinate rule system. Um, what is an isometry? This leads us to congruence. Symmetry is leading us to congruence. If you can map onto yourself, there are pieces and parts that are congruent there. The symmetry helps us later with quadrilaterals. Then we define what are the isometric transformations. We perform them and construct them and do sequences of them. That leads us nicely to congruence because the new definition is that if I can take my shape and I can map it onto your shape using only isometric motions, then they are congruent. So this whole foundational stuff is teaching congruence before we get there. Triangle congruence, uh, triangle criteria, angle side, angle side, angle side, the classic stuff. And then we get to things proving about angles, proving about triangles, proving about quadrilaterals. The only thing that moves in order, of course, you see that the, I have the last two objectives starting. And also number nine, the business about angle properties, uh, I actually move up in front of congruence right in here. And then that way I can prove vertical angles and things like that and then use them to help me prove triangle congruence. A great unit. This is the big change here in, uh, in the new core system and I love it. It's awesome.